What's up everybody out there? Welcome to another Sully Show alcohol review. Today we're doing something that's uh, a little bit near and dear to my heart. I'm from the great Sunshine State, the great state of Florida, where we got a bunch of oranges and orange trees. So we're going back down there a little bit. Some Jim Beam orange. Alright, pretty excited to try this. I have a feeling that it'll be very good because I love orange juice, I love oranges, I love Jim Beam. I love everything that uh, this should be about. But let's see if it is about what it's about, you know? Let's just go ahead and dive right on into it. Grab our cup, grab our liquid. So it doesn't seem very syrupy. A lot of these uh, fruit flavored whiskeys tend to look kind of syrupy when you pour them. This one didn't seem to be syrupy. It's got to be a good sign. You know how this works. Smell test first, of course. So you get some, you get some Jim Beam in there. You get some whiskey, some oak, some char. You definitely get an alcohol smell. And an orange smell. Very strong. Very strong orange smell. But like some fresh orange. Like it doesn't smell like orange liquor or orange syrup. It smells like fresh, like someone just squeezed an orange into my nose holes. Alright, smells fresh. Smells delicious. Smells absolutely wonderful. I'm too excited to wait. Let's jump right in. First off, the bite, I would say pretty much right on the money. Not too strong, not too weak, you can feel it, goes away fast, but you know it's there. Flavors, at first it's all orange. At first it almost tastes like you're drinking orange juice, which I love orange juice, so it works out pretty well for me. On the back end of it, there's some, there's some Jim Beam flavors in there, some of that oak, some of that char, um, some of those staple whiskey flavors in there on the back end. However, for the most part, it really does just taste orangey, fresh, fruity, um, absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious so far. We're going to go ahead, get it on some ice, let it cool down. Oh, one more sip before that, one more sip. Delicious. Delicious. Let's get on some ice, let it cool down. Go over the uh, specialties of Jim Beam Orange and then drink it. Again, cold. Alright, so I couldn't find a whole lot out about the Jim Beam Orange. But what my research was telling me was, well, price. What am I thinking? We always start with price. We got to go with price first. About 20 bucks for a 750 pretty much in line with a lot of the, you know, middle of the road whiskeys. 20 bucks for 750, not too bad. You know, price of your normal Jim Beam, I believe, is about 20 bucks for 750. That Rebel Yell Root Beer was 20 bucks for 750. Uh, a lot of stuff is kind of right in that range. This seems like it's worth it so far. 32.5% ABV, 65 proof, so, I mean, it's not low, but it's not high. It's kind of, you know, middle of the road right there. Nothing too crazy, nothing nothing to write home about. The flavors, however, according to my research, you should get some grain, some sweet, some oak, some char, and some fruit. Those are like the main flavors that uh, you should pick up. And I would probably have to say that you really can taste all those. You get some sweet in there from like almost a fruit syrup. Um, however, the orange flavor is very fresh, very natural orange and everything. And so, I mean, it really is like you took a bite of an orange. So, you get the fruit, you also get the sweet, and you get the staple whiskey flavors of that char and that oak. Overall, very impressed so far. Very impressed. Alright, let's get back to it. We got on some ice. We got it cooled down a little bit. We didn't let it sit for quite as long this time, so hopefully that'll kind of help out with not killing that bite too much. It 
We didn't dilute the bite too much. Uh, that's one thing I don't like about it being on ice is if it's a good bite to begin with, sometimes it being on ice dilutes it. However, that ice brings out the flavors more, which I kind of like. In this one, I would probably have to say you got to drink it on ice. There's something, the flavors come out a little bit more, the orange is a little bit more predominant, but not much. Not really enough to make it worth it there. But there's something about this being cold that takes it to the complete next level. If you like orange Fanta, it basically tastes like orange Fanta. It's not carbonated, obviously, but it basically tastes like orange Fanta. So when it's cold, you get that cold, refreshing orange Fanta taste. It's a killer. It really is. I was excited about it, but I was a little skeptical because I feel like the fruit flavors are easy to turn into a fake flavor. Um, and I generally am not a huge fan. Um, I like the Old Smoky Peach, but like Bird Dog Black Bear I wasn't a fan of. Crown Peach I wasn't a fan of, so I'm normally not a fan. However, this was done very well. Would definitely recommend you pick some of this up if you like oranges, if you like orange Fanta. If that's your kind of thing, definitely pick some of this up. You will not be disappointed. Overall, going to go four neat, five on ice. Um, I might need to readjust my scoring because, you know, it's kind of like there's not a whole lot of room between one and five. And I feel like I need a little bit more room to dif differentiate. I guess you can start doing like points. Like, you know, four point, whatever. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll think about that. But nine out of ten overall. Definitely recommend. Let me scoot over here. I think I might have to go in between Single Barrel and Angel's Envy. But I don't know. That's what's difficult too is... I don't know if I'd say it's better than Angel's Envy, but it's different than Angel's Envy. It's, I mean, you can't compare apples to oranges, obviously, you know? So it's, it's, it's a little hard, but it's definitely going to do not recommend. Definitely four fruit flavored whiskey, nine out of ten, great stuff. That right there basically sums it up for this episode of The Sully Show, though. I hope you all enjoyed it. If there's anything you want me to try in the future, drop in the comments. I'll do my best to find it, get it, and drink it for y'all. Other than that, like, subscribe, share with your friends, and cheers.